Hey everybody, welcome to Ocala Garage. My name is Thomas, and uh, this is just another installment of the Daytona Coupe build. Uh, so I had the um, optional power steering rack uh, I ordered with my kit. That was on back order, but it came in the other day with a few other parts. Uh, so we're gonna see what it'll take to get it installed. So the steering rack comes pretty much as you see here. There's a, oh, this thing. <laughs> This thing got broken. Not broken, but this little plastic dude. Anyway, I'll get that off in a minute. Um, for the optional power steering rack, you need to remove the bushings that are on it and replace them with these bushings here. Now, if you have, I think, the, the donor or just the stock power steering rack, there's some modifications I think you have to do to it. There's like some extender parts. Um, I don't have them out here, but anyway, uh, for this, I believe all you need are these few bolts, the sleeve, and these uh, little bushings. So first thing I'm gonna do is see how much trouble it is to get these out. Okay, that wasn't bad. Let's see. There we go, okay. Oh, maybe. <laughs> All right. Get those out. And then I just need to, let's see, am I gonna have to pound these in? I think I'm gonna have to hammer those in. So, there it is. Trusty mallet. All right, how do I wanna do this without wrecking things? I guess. And kind of do it this way. See, these are all the same. So I should be able to just kind of tap this in. Maybe. Alright. There's one. Two. Flip this over. I think we're gonna have to hold this kind of sort of on the corner. Yeah, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Here, let me angle you down. I'm trying to get this, because there's stuff in the way. So, set that there. All right. And this one, last one. that. Let's do this. Uh, try and get that started there. And we'll just Again, this is what happened on the other side. The bushing came up. So, just beat that back down and all right bushings and sleeves seem to be in pretty well I think the best way to get this in so it goes in this orientation like this so I think we'll try this Alright, so these are kind of catching. So, wonder if we can put it in a little bit lower and move it sideways. 
All right, we'll see if this kind of comes over on film here. So I'm trying to get this down into here, and it needs to be in the lower the lower hole on both sides here because we're going to do street ride height. But to try and angle it in, these are kind of rubbing against this cross beam. But they have some flex to them, so maybe that'll be okay. And I'll try to wiggle them in some and see if we can get, get it in place. That one wants to fit. This side kind of wants to fit. you get it lined up just about right, it looks like it kind of falls into place. So there we go. Now we get some bolts in here. All right, so in my kit, I only have one washer, the bolt, and the, and the nut. So I think what we're going to do is put the washer on the back. Let's get a little persuasion going. And I'm putting them in the manual. Let me lower this down a little bit here. The manual shows putting the bolts in this direction, but this is going to be riveted right here. And I won't be able to get these bolts out that direction because it just won't fit. So I'm putting the bolts in from this side and the lock nut washer on this side. We've got to try and think about if we have to do maintenance on those things. Although this is another issue. Here's the thing, this bolt seems too long to me. I might double check. I'm gonna double check these. Because this one, look at this. Let me take you off. See how far this is sticking out? Let me take the lock nut off. See how far that's sticking out? I feel like this might be too long of a bolt. I gotta double check. So right here, half inch by 13 by four inch bolt, steering system hardware, washer, nylon lock nut. There's two each, two, two, two. And in the manual, it says, locate the half inch by four inch steering rack bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Although this shows four washers, but this only shows two. So I'm guessing it's two. I don't like guessing, but 
think that's right. I'm going to go ahead and put these on, leave them loose, and we'll call the steering rack good for the day. Uh, but I'm going to double check this before I tighten things down. So, quick one. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Steering rack install, fairly easy. It fit down into the tabs pretty well once I got it just in the right position. It kind of dropped down. Um, so be careful of that because if it drops down, it might catch your finger and that will hurt. Uh, as is evidenced by somebody else I saw on YouTube who did that very thing. Crushed his thumb. Uh, so... I'll get back to you if there's an update. If you don't hear anything from me about it, then these are the right bolts and it's the right, the right everything. Um, so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next episode.